three days three days left until we finally say hello to 2022 and wave goodbye to 2021 guys bear with me time flies so fast last year feels like yesterday and it just goes on and on in this video we will going to be heading over the things that i have accomplished and gone through this year so 2021 I gotta say, this year is one of the most craziest years I have experienced to say the least and it is not possible without the all and the friends that I knew from the beginning. When 2021 started, I enjoyed playing BG as a whole either with my friends, alone, clan members, and like before, you know having fun, enjoying, and just laughing our problems away. Before, games like Bedwars and Edwars was our way to enjoy a little with our lives which was stressful at the time because of the pandemic going on, school, many other things. But this game, this very game was like our escape. This game is our little break of enjoyment from time to time. This might not mean a lot to you but try to reflect on your own how much you valued something or someone this year. I mean, that is just how we felt about this game. We had fun with it, loved it, even spent midnights grinding this game and everything. Back to me, I myself find this year to be the turning point for the love of this game. When I found out about this game to be enjoyable, innocent, and overall a great community, I played for hours upon hours just to see myself pranking in the leaderboards. But as the years goes on, it all started to change slowly. A couple weeks later, I got mildly frustrated about different issues happening in the game such as the lag, um, pay to win, toxic players, but I wanted to be positive in that time and just, just ignore it for the meantime. But once it all started kicking in, I can't stop noticing this stuff. No matter how hard I try to ignore these, they all just keep coming to me. So like, my motivation for the game was slowly fading away and it just didn't felt the same the way it used to be. I didn't just let it all end at the start of the year. I kept pushing YouTube no matter how demotivating and bad the state of the game is. I kept making content on this channel. I tried my best to create content that the BG community is mostly lacking from, which is tips and tricks. I don't even expect myself to create this type of content and make it my channel's foundation, but I went along with y'all's advice and that I should make more of these videos. A couple months now after that, this was around March, my channel was at its peak. I made so many videos around that time, putting a lot of effort to my content and was just overall in depth. I focused more on actually explaining how this works and how that works and I avoided doing videos which too many BG YouTubers have already done. Which is funny moments, meme videos, that is just too much for us, we had enough of those videos. Not only I was very busy and focused on uploading consistent content, I was enjoying making those videos, to be honest. Every evening around 6 or 7, I would go on YouTube studio in my comment section filled with people thanking me for making these videos and just being grateful that they find my videos useful. Moving forward, April, I started commentary videos like this and adding voice to my videos because people ask me for it for a very long time and just spice things up. Usually, I'm not the type of guy to be speaking in front of a lot of people, not even thousands, but hey, it's worth a shot. Everything went on and turned out to be fine. I mean, it's me, not that too good, but totally not bad either. And um, growth in terms of YouTube went out pretty well and overall just chilling. Next days or weeks, I realized something was off. I slowly noticed a difference in the quality of my videos, like the voice. Um, the quality is getting lower and I just got a bit frustrated that time. And I didn't bother that much to do a thing about it since I can't find any programs or software to help improve the quality but I did eventually and honestly, it isn't worth it in my opinion because it just takes longer like so much longer and it's just overall more complicated. I just checked YouTube Studio Analytics and I found out that I have 20k to 24k subscribers around that time before I took a long break. And that sums up my first half of 2021. Around that time, if you were watching my vids back then, I took this long break from both the game and YouTube. I didn't get to say goodbye to everyone that time because I wanted to forget everything. Simply that. I wanted to forget what I did and it's just all ruined. 
and I would consider these times my lowest I have ever gotten in this year. Often around this period, June, July, August, I keep thinking about was it right for me to do that and much similar to that and it's just pretty sad man. I kept thinking and wishing that I could go back to the past where everything was doing fine and great. Just friends having fun, playing together or against one another, helping out, but I just couldn't. When the new school year started, I just did well on that if you are wondering and life just went on normally as I have never touched PG ever in my life. The best way I can put it together for you guys is that this is how my days would go probably if I didn't start a YouTube in this game and probably how things will just go if I quitted BG early on. I also wanted to tell you that sometime in August, I was like 2 hours or 3 hours away from making a video that time to just explain why I quit it but I didn't just know how to reintroduce myself to the community after so long being missing and I couldn't help myself from doing it. Like, if someone really helped me that time, you would've saw me upload in August and up until now, but yeah, didn't much happen. So September to November, those 3 months, I started to worry more like I said earlier, was it the right thing for me to do or is it there something I can do better? Well, I re-evaluated myself that it's just not the time yet. Whatever I was doing for the past months, playing the same game over and over again, I kept on doing that. My channel was surprisingly still active in the way that people are still commenting about me not uploading and was channel was pretty much growing by inches, I don't know, like 1000 subscribers every month and that's not a lot. Time went by and I just did whatever I can do, school, playing other games, chatting with in real life friends and much but at the end of the year, it is finally time to upload a YouTube video on this very same channel. About a week before that first video I made this December, I started planning stuff, remastering the softwares, the applications that I was using, and it just felt the same good old days where I was making YouTube videos like my old self. I uploaded the video and BAM! People went rushing on my new video after wondering where I have been for, I don't know, 7 months from not uploading, no sign. Just welcoming me back and asking how I have been. It's been a really 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 good experience with you all in 2021. Everything and everyone that I met along the way, whether you have been kind or mean to me, just take a simple thank you from me for making 2021 one of my most memorable and unique years ever. It's been a thrill to ride along this long path with many ups and many downs that I didn't much pretty expect, but I'm still grateful for that. Pretty much, Happy New Year and remember to dream bigger next year. Hey, if you enjoy this type of content or find my content entertaining at least in whatever way, do not hesitate to like and subscribe and cheers for the new year.